Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, I'm going to show you how you are able to take your data out of R and use it in, a, in another application, particularly Microsoft Excel. <clears throat> so as you can see here, I'm already inside R. And the first thing you want to do is, is you want to try to figure out where R saves your future files you're going to create. So what you do is, is you type in right here into your uh, console, git wd, which stands for git working directory, and you press control enter. And when you do that, R will tell you, or R Studio will tell you where your future file will be saved at. And so you can see here in the output screen in the console, it's telling me exactly where my future document will be saved. Now, if you desire to change this directory for whatever reason, there's actually a, a, a function called setwd, which you can explore on your own time where you can change the actual location of where you will save files, but I'm not going to demonstrate that. Now, if you actually want to save your file, you have to determine what you, how do you want to save it. Normally, in my experience working with R, we save files as CSV, um, CSV files, because this is something that, that Excel can use. Um, but I'm, there, I'm sure there are also other options. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save the Iris data set. And the Iris data set is one of the, the, the many uh, default data sets that, are, that come with R when you install it. We're going to save it as a CSV file. And then I'm going to show you how you can open it inside Microsoft Excel. So in order to do that, we have to use the function called write.csv. So write.csv. And the first thing you want to put next is the name of the actual object as it is defined inside R. So in R, the Iris data set is called Iris. That's what it is. Next, you put a comma. Followed by that, the next argument you have to include is file. <clears throat> and you can see that that's there. And now inside quotations, you must put what you want to call the object outside of R. In other words, you have to give it a file name. And so we're going to call it, and again, remember, you have to put this inside quotation marks. And also, you must end the name of the file with a period followed by CSV. You must put the dot .csv so that Excel knows what type of file it is. So we're going to call it iris.csv. So the name of my file, how it will be known to Excel, how it will be known outside of the R environment is iris.csv. When everything is done, you just press Control Enter again. Now, nothing appears or nothing has happened inside R. However, if I go over now to my Excel, or if I, if I go over to Excel, and if I go over here and I click on Open, I can now find it. And you can see, I'm, this is probably hard to see, I'm already inside the actual location. So I'm in my R working directory, then YouTube file. And then right here is the iris.csv. Now, if I click on this, I'm sure you know how to use Excel. You can click OK. Now, one thing I have to warn you is that sometimes when you open Excel, it says all Excel files. And when you do that, the CSV file might disappear. So what you need to do is when you try to open the document inside Microsoft Excel, you must click on Files of Type, and you must make sure that, that you select all files. And now you can see that my document reappears. If you can't see this, I'm sorry, I'm not able to enlarge this. So once I select it, I click open. And so this is the, the data that I saved. And if you're familiar with the uh, Iris data set, you should know these variables very well. Sepal.length, petal.length, width.length, and the name of the species. So these are the variables that are in this data set. This first row is just um, row names. You can remove this if you so desire by putting in another argument called row names, row dot names, and putting false. If you set it like so, this first column right here will not appear. Um, whether you do that or not depends on the situation and how you are um, dealing with things. So in this video, we learned how to take data from R to be able to use it in another um, file, such as, a, or not a file, another program, such as Microsoft Excel. This is very, very uh, useful if you're trying to share data with people who maybe are not familiar with how to use R. 
so you can you know kind of clean things up for them and then send it out appropriately in a file format that they're comfortable with and also for other applications so we thank you for listening to this um, particular video and we look forward to seeing you in future videos take care